Solomon Christ here, and in this video, we're actually going to connect up N8N to FFmpeg. And not just FFmpeg, we can actually connect this to a lot of um, processes that are running on your server. This can be a tool or a service or something that you can actually, you know, get on to your Unix or Linux box. So I'm going to show you how to set up something known as a system command inside of N8N. All right, but we're actually using FFmpeg for it, but you can use any system command with this entire example, all right? So we're gonna show you how to do this inside of N8N. So let's dive right in. So here we are now in N8N, and this is just a blank, um, you know, workflow here. But uh, many times, uh, you know, when we install N8N onto our servers, uh, we wanna have access to, you know, programs and systems on our computers, all right? In this case here, our actual computer is on the cloud. It is a digital ocean, uh, server. So this here is a droplet on a server right now, and this is on DigitalOcean. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to have to go inside of the actual server itself to be able to access these console-based tools. All right. But first, let's figure out, you know, how do we do this in N8N? So inside of N8N, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a blank workflow, and we're just going to add a step here. We'll just call this trigger manually. All right. So that at least we could call it at any time. And then you're gonna have another one called execute command. So just type in execute command and it's right here, all right? And this here will actually run a command on your Linux server, all right? So this could be anything. And I'm talking about from, you know, um, adding apps, deleting apps, um, you know, in this case, we're gonna be doing FFmpeg, which will allow us to manipulate image data. And in this tutorial here, what we're doing is we're going to be taking a folder on your Google Drive, uh, loading it up with, um, you know, a whole bunch of images. And then after that, we're going to take those images and piece them together to create a nice little video collage, kind of like a slideshow, but with images done instantaneously. And so that is going to be, you know, how that works. But the fact that you can use FFmpeg is going to open up so many other things that you could do just by using execute command. All right, a very, very powerful uh, node in N8N. So let's go ahead and let's connect this up here. All right, just like that. Okay, and if I actually run this right now, um, I'm just going to type in um, a simple command ls. All right, and we're just going to run this right now, and it's probably going to fail. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it worked. Okay, there you go. But now what we need to do is we need to actually go into our virtual machine, which is uh, the digital ocean box there. And we are actually set up inside of something called Docker. So the, I like to think of Docker like a virtual machine within this virtual server that we've got. Okay. And so a quick little idea, and I'll just do this inside of kind of like a Photoshop here. Let me uh, do this here. MS paint. I'm old school that way. There we go. MS paint. All right. Let me just bring this down here so you can kind of like see that there. All right. So Basically, right now, you've got um, your own digital ocean server, or this could be any server that you're using to have your N8N running. And um, what ends up happening is that usually if you've set up N8N on a server, chances are you're using some form of Docker container. Docker is um, a system that lives inside of this system that uses similar resources, but it's like its own self-contained system. And so N8N, especially in the DigitalOcean side, if you uh, install it in DigitalOcean, it's running within this Docker container. If you try to install it here, outside of uh, the actual Docker container, well, it won't work because N8N doesn't actually work here. It's actually working within the Docker container inside of here. All right. So what we need to do is we need to install FFmpeg and any other service or software that we want to access inside of there. So the first thing is we need, we need to figure out, well, where is this Docker container and how do I access it? All right. So let's start off with that first. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we want to do is you want to go to your digital ocean and then you want to go into your server that you have. And then you're going to click on this little console button here. All right. So go ahead and click on that. Okay. So now we need to kind of understand where our Docker is running and where, it, you know, where it's set up. And specifically, if you set it up with digital ocean, it's running within something called caddy. So it's a different thing here. So I'm just going to type in Docker PS. All right. So Docker PS and you'll see it there. Okay. Let me see if I can increase the text here a bit. Docker PS. So I'm going to hit enter. All right. And there you have it. It's actually showing you that this here is the name of your Docker system. All right. 
So that's an important one there. In this case here, it's N8N Docker, sorry, N8N dash Docker dash caddy dash N8N dash one. All right, so now that I have that, I can access my Docker using this command here, all right? And that is Docker exec, as an execute, dash it, dash dash user, root, and then the name of my actual, you know, um, Docker implementation there, which is n8n dash docker dash caddy dash n8n dash one, and then the letters sh, all right? So you're gonna type that in and hit enter, okay? Now, if I go back to that image that I was showing you earlier, right here, we are now within this Docker implementation, all right? So that's where we're in. So now we could start adding in our programs and our systems. In this case here, we want to install FFmpeg into our Docker system so that we can access it within our N8N. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, and now you're gonna type in APK space update space and and space APK space add space FF MPEG and then you're going to hit enter. All right. So this is going to do the updates. It's going to install FFmpeg onto your system. All right. Now this is successfully installed on your actual N8N Docker implementation. We're now going to go back to N8N and we're going to type in a command to see what version of FFmpeg we have. All right. So here we are and we're going to go back into our execute command here. And we're going to type the following in ffmpeg dash version. And all I have to do is hit test setup. And there it is. Okay. It shows me the version of ffmpeg and you now have successfully installed ffmpeg on your N8N installation. And so now you're probably wondering, well, what can we do with ffmpeg? <laughs> all right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up a Google drive and we're going to now loop through a whole bunch of images and then we're going to connect them all together and create a nice little video slideshow of those images. Here we are on my main system where I already have this set up. And here in this Google Drive node for searching for files, we're looking for file folder. We're gonna be using search, looking for a folder name. We're looking for star.star, .star, which is everything. And then we're adding a filter here. And in the from list, Okay, the filter is going to be um, type folder. Okay, so add the filter type folder. And then in the from list, you're going to uh, click on the drop down and you're going to search for that folder you just made. In our case, it's N8N test. All right, so I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to click on test step here. And there it is. It's picked up all four of the images. All right. So now we're going to be doing a loop through and I'm just going to show you kind of how this works here. All right. So in this case here, I'm looping through all of those images. Okay. So on each image, what I do is first, I actually go and I download the image via the Google Drive, all right? I then extract the data from it, so I get the actual binary format, and I also get the field information, such as um, the name of the actual file. Then I finalize a file because I have to actually bring it together so that I can actually name it something. In this case here, uh, it's gonna be named image something because what's gonna happen is later inside of FFmpeg, we're gonna need a sequential piece of data. That's why I actually do this. And I actually create that sequential piece of data right here when I read or write to the actual files themselves. And this is where I actually do a run index where I'm constantly just adding it up and I'm creating something called file zero, file one, file two, file three, and so on. And it'll run through that. And when it's done, it's gonna come here and execute command which is the FFmpeg command here. And then finally, it's going to output an MP4 file of all of that. All right, let's give it a shot. There it is, one, two, three, four. It's generating the video. And what do we have here? Look at this. Boom, let's take a look. Look at that, there you go. <laughs> all right, nice, okay. So now we could generate any little slideshow, you know, simply using any of the stuff that goes into my folder here. And there you have it. Listen, if you want to do this again, all you have to do is go right back into your server, 
So I'm just show you how that works. Okay, now you're inside of there. You're gonna type in ls because all your files will be generated there, including your MP4. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in rm star dot star. So rm space star dot star, which means remove everything. All right, and now you can do this again. So if I add another image, so let me just add another one. There we go, I just added another image inside of there. So now I should have five images. So if I rerun this now again, so I just hit that, I rerun this entire flow all over again, I should see now the five actual images. There we go, it's generating the video, all right? It's really neat that it does this, okay? And I just updated it. You know, imagine creating a video that fast, and now I click on view, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now you can do that. So go ahead, give that a shot, and if you wanna you know, get access to this and many other neat flows and tutorials and training, please come on out and check out my school community. Well, there you have it. You learned how to use the execute command node and use it with N8N. I hope you enjoy this video and please do come on out to my school community where I teach you how to use AI and automation inside of your day-to-day -day lives. This is Solomon Christ. Until next time, I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.